Hi everyone, my name is Arielle and welcome back to my channel. I'm currently attempting a through hike on the Pacific Crest Trail and we just got dropped back off at like the Inspiration Point Trail by Wrightwood and are headed up to climb Baden Powell today. Uh, it should be a really exciting and beautiful day. This will be our second summit of the trail and feels really good to be hiking again. So let's hike. I got this feeling Yeah, it's stirring in my bones It's got me dreaming Chasing that golden coast We just gotta live in the moment Blow your Monday, let's just go for it Pack your bags and I'll grab the door We'll head straight for the sun I've been thinking we should get away Leave our troubles for another day so we happened to be hiking Baden Powell on a Saturday and we just got to like the main parking area <laughs> for the trail and it is a lot of cars. I think we're gonna have a lot of friends up there today on the mountain. I just wanna be with you. Roll down the window, drinking the strawberry summer breeze. Close your eyes and let go. Breathe in the blue sky and It may be hard to tell from the video, but those are like glider planes, so they don't have an engine or anything. They're just like floating on the wind rafts up here. So it's pretty cool that even one of them, I didn't have my camera out, but it swooped like super close to where we were sitting here on the summit. And uh, yeah, we're up here, it's a beautiful day. Uh, at least on the uphill part, I didn't feel like micro spikes were needed. It is May 14th, I believe, if any of you are using this for planning purposes, 2022. Um, but yeah, there was a couple of patches of snow, but very chill. I, we had, we all had spikes with us just in case, but um, yeah, definitely would have been very chill without them. So we've just been hanging out up here for a while, having some lunch because it's such a nice day. And then we're gonna cruise down maybe just like another six miles. So slightly shorter day today, but very beautiful and a pretty good climb. I'm seeing distant lights. It's almost like, it's almost like waking.
inside, searching for myself all the time. check in with you guys earlier but it was just like such a lovely sunset and we just were all like hanging out just enjoying the view so of course I'm <laughs> checking in in the dark in my tent like I always do but it was a really lovely day um it was technically a shorter day like I think it was only like maybe 16 miles we're camped at little Jimmy's campground and there's like a spring nearby it was like 0.2 miles back down the trail so that was really nice that we only had to carry um water that far um, and the plan for tomorrow is to do roughly a 20 mile day but there is a section of the trail that's closed for some endangered frog species and so um, I think that adds that detour adds like another mile or so so I think it will be 20 trail miles but like 21 actual miles I don't know I'll update you guys as the day goes on but yeah, uh, it's interesting because today was a shorter day, but to be honest, like, I think we all felt really tired. <laughs> um, the switchbacks, which I didn't do the best job of showing you because it was kind of hard to go up a steep hill like that and film at the same time, but it was basically just like pretty steady switchbacks all the way up. And I feel like we've done some big climbs in, you know, the past week or two, but they were more gradual. Um, so this was like one of the steeper ones yet actually of the whole trail. And I think all of us were kind of feeling it. So it's kind of nice to do a slightly shorter day. Um, but yeah, the next few days will be longer. So anyways, it's an early night and I'm excited to get some sleep. Oh, and I got, I got, not only did I get new shoes, which some of you guys who kind of nerd out on gear, gear might have noticed, um, they're the same shoe that I had before, just, um, just a new pair and I actually got a half size bigger. And so far I'm really loving them, but I also got a new sleep pad because even though mine was repaired, it was still slowly leaking in the night. <laughs> it was so annoying. So I feel like I'm all dialed in with gear right now too. So that feels really good. Anyways, time for bed. See you tomorrow. If you need a dollar bill in your blue jeans, I'ma throw it to you, honey, like I'm Drew Brees. I'm just happy that my crib got two sinks, cause that's a whole lot more than what I do need. I'm a gut steady tie like a shoestring. New things still jumping like a Good morning. It's like 6.30. We've walked uh, just like a little over two miles um, down the trail from our campsite and we cross over at this parking lot. And something I really like kind of love about being out on the trail is like very small things end up like getting you super excited <laughs> like having a trash can that you can like dump your trash in it's like the little things end up being such a luxury I remember like just now walking down the hill being like they have trash cans and it's like when in my life have I ever been like excited about a trash can like I think that's pretty fun Trying to be a middle-aged rapper that's still broke And see the thing about little ones is they like to eat And best believe that that organic food don't come cheap I don't compete, I complete tasks All along in my head, I'm I'm not sure if you guys could see or tell that there was a car that drove by us in that last clip like so fast but we're on Angeles Crest Highway there's a detour today like I told you about and we have just like a short road walk but this is where people come to like drive their fast sports cars and <laughs> kind of scary <laughs> right now there's a good size shoulder but there's definitely sections where it's like a one foot shoulder and people are flying by us in their fancy sports cars hopefully we can get off this road soon and the fans still singing like oh 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 yeah i said who got the money not me said who got the money
money. Yo, see it, say, who got the money? Not me, but who needs the money, yeah? Not me, instead of doing for the money. Not me, not me. Yo, do you do it for the money? Not me, not me. All right, we are officially back on the PCT after the detour, um, but it is like quite a few hours later, and it's not because it took us that many hours to walk that section, but because we got super vortex into that trail magic situation that I showed you, and we spent like two hours hanging there. So um, we have quite a few miles to make up this afternoon. You're like an ocean, full and deep You deliver me And you light the darkness, what I can't see Well, that was a crazy experience. So we were just hiking on the trail maybe a half mile before our next water source and we came upon um, this kid and these two adults and um, they were seeing if we had SOS devices on us because the kid had been suffering from like severe dehydration like he hadn't been able to keep anything down since the night before and was unable to keep hiking so uh, Fitz actually hit her SOS button for him and it was so quick I mean I know it's different in all different situations and it depends on where you're where you are but we're in Angeles National Forest which is super close to civilization and they were literally the helicopter arrived within five minutes we thought it was for someone else because it was so fast and then they started circling around us dropped the guy off and like came over to help the kid and then were able to hoist him back up which was really crazy um, so yeah such a crazy experience to be a part of and just really grateful we were able to help in some way and it's just a really good reminder to carry your SOS device because even if it's not for you or someone in your group like you may be able to help someone else in need and I'm yeah really grateful we were able to help that kid and I think he's gonna be okay um, he's definitely like not feeling too hot and like dehydration can become a serious problem um, it can lead to something called volume shock um, but luckily once they get him to a hospital like I don't know he should feel good in no time you're like the wind blowing free you deliver me and I can wander I can roam no matter how far It's like 5.30 and we are back on trail for the day. We're trying to utilize our day a little bit better than yesterday and use the cooler parts of the day because with all of the things that happened yesterday, actually mostly just the trail magic, we hung there for a long time and we ended up hiking in like the hot of the day and it makes such a big difference about how hard like the miles feel when it's hot outside. So we're getting going early this morning. Um, yesterday we ended up doing 21 and a half ish miles, but we rolled into camp literally with just enough time to like eat dinner and go to bed, which is not our preferred method of like camping. We kind of like to get all of our miles done earlier in the day and have a little more time to like hang out and just enjoy our campsite if possible. So today the plan is to do roughly 20, but there's a little bit more climbing today. So um, than yesterday, so uh, maybe a little bit harder of a day, but maybe easier if we actually get our miles done before it gets too hot. So anyways, now we hike. You're like the ocean, full and deep. You deliver me. Seen a 
a lot of snakes so far, but this is our first rattlesnake. It is very large. Get it, son. And roughly five minutes later, this one is not a rattlesnake, but it is taking up the highway here. Deliver me. So we just took a nice long lunch in that little pocket of shade by the water spigot and bathroom. And um, we only have like 6.4 miles we plan to do today so we can do 20 miles in total. But <laughs> it's three and it's still so hot. So I actually used the spigot to like wet my hood and like wet my sleeves so I could have like a little bit of, little bit of something. Um, we go straight into an exposed climb. But it's only 6.4 miles so. We can do this. <laughs> oh man. All right, time to hike. <laughs> I'm not gonna make a sort of fast when I'm dipping in my Sunday best. Bet the Gucci pen across my chest. Yeah, look at me now. Look at me. So it's like 8.15 and I'm so ready for bed. I'm exhausted today. Today was an interesting day. I mean, like not in an eventful way. Um, in fact, compared to yesterday, it was a very uneventful day. But just interesting in how like tired I feel. I think the biggest thing for me is the heat. And it was definitely a lot warmer today. And, um, you know, to make the 20 miles for the day, we have to do some hiking in the heat. And I just feel like it really takes it out of me. It's such a big difference on the days that are hot. And we actually had kind of a cooler week last week and we're like kind of higher in elevation. Um, so I'm definitely like trying to get myself mentally prepared for what's to come because the last bit of the like desert section is I think more deserty than what we've experienced so far far and I think it's going to be like you know in general hotter than almost everything we've done so far so just getting mentally prepared for that because I'd say that's my biggest challenge out here is the heat um but yeah, we made it to camp. Um, we kind of have, this is probably our like um, least cool campsite yet. It's just kind of on the side of the trail, but it sets us up to do a little bit less than 20 miles tomorrow into Acton KOA where we can actually like um, do laundry and take showers and stuff like that. And then we want to boogie over to Agua Dulce to do like a, a Nero over there and like um, eat in some of the restaurants. So I'm going to go to bed super early and hope that I wake up feeling a little more energized tomorrow because I'm feeling so tired tonight. All right. Good night, guys. See you later. So that's pretty exciting. I set the goal to make it to this ranger station where our next water source is by 10 a.m., which would be 11.2 miles by 10 a.m. And I made it at 9.50, which I don't even think we've ever even done a 10 by 10 yet. So I'm feeling really good. I think the thing I've realized, especially after yesterday, is that like I have to do the miles earlier in the day while I still have energy because as soon as that heat starts happening, I slow way down. Oh man, guys, I'm really glad that we did those uh, extra miles this morning because it is so hot now. We're hiding. 
pot. <laughs> so, wow. the sun off. We're hiding literally in a bush. It's like the only bit of shade that we've seen in like ages. And to be fair, like we've done almost 16 miles today and it's like 11 a.m. We're just trying to make it into Acton. Um, so we can do like laundry and shower. So we only have four miles left, but it is now like noon and it is insanely hot outside. So we're gonna just like try to cool down a little bit here in the shade and then bust out the last little bit into town. But holy cow, this is so much hotter than last week. And I think it's gonna be kind of like a, what the next couple of weeks are like as we head into like the more deserty section of this part of the desert. So we're at the, well, you could probably hear how loud the road is here. We're at the Acton campground and um, we actually got here at like 2.30 yesterday. So we did almost 20 miles in by 2.30, which is pretty impressive, but we were allured by the opportunity to take a shower and just have a relaxing afternoon. And this morning we're having a somewhat slow start because um, we're only gonna do 10 miles today and kind of have like a narrow-ish day and get some food in Agua Dulce. And um, I don't think anyone slept all that well. Uh, as you've like heard a couple times, probably since I've been speaking, the road is right there. So it's pretty loud with cars. And then there are trains that come by <laughs> and like honk their horn super, super, super loud. Um, so yeah, we intended to get going a little bit earlier just cause it is so hot during the day and 10 miles, um, <clears throat> we wanna get 10 miles in before it gets hot again but all of us are just moving slow because we're tired. <laughs> so anyways, that's the plan for the day. Just a short, you know, 10 mile uh, Nero kind of day and then we'll relax uh, in the afternoon. And then tomorrow we'll jump back on, on the like regular mileage on the trail. So, all right, I guess we should probably get hiking. <laughs>
it is actually the next morning. We uh, The trail itself goes through Agua Dulce, so we were walking through town, and then we went and got Mexican food. And the plan yesterday really was to just do the 10 miles and have, like, I don't even know if you could call it a Nero, because 10 miles is still, like, a pretty solid half day. But that was all we were planning on doing, and then having a good rest last night, and then heading back out early this morning. So we, um, yeah, we stayed uh, at a hotel not too far away, and it's very early in the morning, and we're getting our stuff all packed up to go back out on trail. Um, so I feel like this is a good place though to end this week's video. Um, so as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys all next week when we hit the trail again later today. Bye.